How's it going, y'all? I'm Mache. I'm the director of coffee at Trade, and today we're going to make cold brew. Specifically, we're going to make cold brew using these Trade cold brew bags. Uh, cold brew is just one of the many ways you can make iced coffee, and it's a really easy way. Uh, it's a way that's very forgiving um, and really hard to mess up. Um, and when we use these Trade cold brew bags, um, it is also a way that makes cleanup really easy. Um, and it's a way that gets you uh, a pretty clean cup of cold brew without a lot of the silt um, that you might get if you're using different methods. So uh, we got a cold brew recipe ready to go. It's an eight to one brew, so it makes a pretty strong cup of coffee, um, but one that you can drink straight over ice. Uh, we're using 85 grams of coffee, um, and if you don't have a scale, which I would highly recommend, um, that is roughly a cup of coffee. It's, it's not great to measure coffee by volume, uh, different roasts, different kinds of coffee will give you a result. But if you're using uh, a relatively medium roast, you'll get more or less uh, 85 grams in this uh, in this cup. So I'm going to grind that coffee on a fairly coarse setting, um, and it's coarse in this case because we're brewing for a long time. But even more importantly, uh, because we really want the water to permeate into the middle of this coffee bag, it's going to be packed together a little tightly. So if it's too fine, it'll have a hard time reaching all that coffee and getting all the good stuff out. So again, I'm gonna grind this coarsely and I'll be right back. transfer this coffee over to this container just because it's a little more flexible so it'll be a little easier to get into our cold brew bag. So no real trick here. If you have like a bigger funnel or whatever that could work but this is pretty easy as it is. Um, just get that coffee right in there. As it starts getting fuller you can just let it settle a little bit, create some more space. Um, and again, if you, if you have pre-ground coffee and you weren't able to weigh it out, uh, just a centimeter or two kind of under where the top of this bag starts is right. You don't want to get it super tight, like I said earlier, because you really want that water to be able to get in. So I'm going to get this into our quart container and I'm just going to pull the drawstrings in. I'm going to tie them, but you don't need to worry too much about getting a, a super advanced knot into these. Um, there's really not that much danger of water getting in or of grinds escaping in a way that you wouldn't want. All right, um, so I'm using one of these quart containers. Uh, a jar is fine. Um, anything basically that has enough space. Um, these I just always have lying around, so I think they're, they're really good to use. And I'm going to be using 24 fluid ounces of water, um, which is roughly 680 grams. Uh, again, I really like weighing things, it's just my nature at this point, so I'm going to weigh it, but I just measured out 24 ounces or so in here, so uh, if you have to eyeball it, it's definitely A-OK. -okay. And that uh, 24 ounces of water to 3 ounces of coffee ratio uh, is going to make a coffee that's basically like double strength compared to a regular drip coffee. Um, so you can dilute it if you want, um, or if you're going to be drinking it over ice anyways, um, you can just kind of drink it straight because the ice is going to be taking, amount, taking up a good amount of space in your glass. So you'll get the same amount of caffeine from drinking double strength coffee with ice, basically, if that makes sense. All right, I'm going to leave this for 12 to 18 hours. Um, you might get coffee that's a little stronger if you leave it for longer, um, but with cold brew, without using hot water, um, and really with any brew method, the further you get in the brew, the returns are going to start to get pretty diminishing as far as what you're getting out of that coffee. Um, so I like 12 hours. Um, I know some people who cold brew even faster. Um, so yeah, don't worry about leaving it for too long. If you, if you need cold brew last minute, just do it overnight. It's totally fine. Uh, and I have done that actually. I have some cold brew that I started last night right here. Like I said, pretty easy cleanup. Um, it's compostable, this bag, if you, if you have that set up going. So just take it out, put it in a vessel here, um, and you're good to go. And I have some ice here, so I'm just going to basically assume this is working out to roughly one-to-one -one coffee to ice with double-strength coffee. 
and that gives me a nice cold brew. Chocolatey. Cool. Thanks. Make a cold brew at home. It's easy.